Welcome to Soma Machine. Today I'm going to be showing you the 3 metre, 6 millimetre swing beam machine. Basically this is the blade gap adjustment. It's rapid, you pull up the leader, you turn it to the correct thickness that you're about to cut. This is also available with a motor and can be programmed. Reset button, we have the motor start and motor stop. This will come on if someone walks in the back of the machine and will need resetting at the rear. It will also come on if you put your hand in the garage. We have an emergency stop also on the front pedal and we have an emergency stop on the right. Okay, we have two rear fences and also the back of the Same programming method. Here you program the distance of the back gauge, we call this X. Totally touch screen, no buttons. We press start and it moves to position. Here you program the thickness of material. Totally touch this is called Easy Cut. You can also have programming mode, mode where you have multiple cuts. Easy Cut is used by most people and it's basically called Easy Cut because it's as simple as.
Obviously this one is milliseconds and it's giving you a short stroke. This one can be pressed and you can give it a quantity. Once quantity is reached, it lets you know you press the reset and the quantity disappears. You can reprogram again with different quantity. Next, we have multi stroke. So if you're using a short stroke for a shorter piece of metal and you want to cut up to 80mm and keep shoving the metal forward to trim those 80mm cuts, you press this and you press start. You can also use the foot pedal as a start as well. You keep your foot on the pedal and the machine will keep stroking to a quantity programmed or if no quantity is programmed, it will just keep stroking. The minute you take your foot off the pedal, the multi-stroke switches completely off, making it safe to do single cuts again, with confidence that it's not going to double cut. If you do want a quantity, place the figure in there, press multi-cut, press start, and try again. the machine stopped after the third cut because quantity was reached. The easy cut basically is simple. Switch things on, put a measurement in, switch things off, switch them on, switch them off. Simple as that. Multi-cut, no multi-cut. Program size for putting on X and your thickness. If you've got motorised blade gap adjustment you will see a material type as well will then obviously automatically set the blade gap to the correct gap. Okay, I'm now going to show you how to program a new program. It's gone to its first cut that I've programmed. I will now run through the sequence by pressing the foot pedal, holding my foot on the pedal so it does what's programmed, the full stroke or short stroke, and you'll see the control move, and probably hear the machine as well. Simple as it is, easy cut is once again quickly accessed by pressing the menu button in the bottom left hand corner. If you want to save a program, basically call the cutting program, press on key, you can save the program, call it what you want, 456. Comes up with four, five, six. If you want to delete a program, 
for us to reprogram. In the memory, at the moment, there's only the program I've saved, but press on it, delete it. It's still there as a program, but not in its memory, only in the front page. We have other menus, service, machine parameters. You need to get in the machine parameters, you need to put a code of 333, but don't recommend you do it unless you fully understand what you're programming, as you could kill the machine. But there are other menus in here that you can switch things on and off. You can adjust your blade gaps if you've done a blade turn. Come out of there, press exit to get rid of that other corner, phase two. Switch the machine off. Few seconds, switch the machine on again. Do a reset on the back gate. Do a reset on the front panel. Start the motor. lock the parameters up again. If you want to clean the screen, either do it with the machine switched off or you can press the front and you have eight seconds now to clean the screen. Also, we have somewhere, let me find, if you press on there, tell exactly where the back gauge is. There is some tolerance of about 0.1, 0.0, something like that. Um, but to tell that it's exactly in position, if you go into that menu by pressing that, you will see exactly where X has gone to and how accurately it's just found the position. You have a user preference for language. You can change from millimeter to imperial. You can show the axis position like I just showed you, but on the front screen if you want. So if you say yes now, and come out of there, you'll see that you have the axis position underneath. So one is the program position, and the bottom one is the actual position. If you don't want that on, the current program, other menus, user preference, and you can switch it on from there. Water cup top, top dead center, no full drive seconds, or if we switched off as well. Again, there's that menu that we showed you earlier. And then back to easy cut. It's very simple. And any problems, we have um, a Siblick agent in the country as well that also advises our engineers should you have any strange issues or strange programming uses. Um, or even if you want to use the machine as a cut to length line. Um, the machine will run with many things. So, any problems, obviously, we have a service department you can ring. Just give us a call and they'll help you as much as they can. This is where you date in the machine. how you get into the parameters. I strongly recommend that you don't go in there unless you do know how to program and have programmed things before and change parameters. Code is 333, as in all select programs. And you can see inside there are many things that can be changed. Switched on and switched off, depending on the type of machine. before. Don't mess in there unless you know what you're doing. It's normally done by our engineers, but they may advise you over the phone how to adjust something. Come out of there, press exit parameters. You'll have the two-page orange logo in the corner until you turn the power off and turn the power back on, which will then lock the parameters. 